Hello everyone. So, um, as you know, I haven't been able, I haven't uploaded anything in a pretty long time now, because I haven't had a whole lot of time to practice the ocarina. But I have had some more time recently, so I've been doing that again. So I'm gonna make a few more videos. But um, in case you couldn't already tell, today I'm going to be doing a review of this first note ocarina because the video I did of that um, earlier was one of my more popular ones and. I kind of just wanted to do this because I thought it would be interesting, so uh, yeah, I'll just get right into this. So as you can see here, I, I do have two of these. I have this red one and this blue one. And this red one is actually not my ocarina. This is my sister's. And this is the one that I used in my video that I did earlier. Um, but So here's the packaging for the ocarina. Um, it's a first note. It's called... Uh, sweet Potato Ocarina. It says, Best Quality. And on the back it says, Dear Parent, you have purchased a quality musical instrument. First Note products are real instruments designed to introduce children to music. Encourage your child to play often. It's fun. See our complete line of quality musical products. So, obviously it is designed for a younger person being a First Note product. but And it, it does have some notation for Happy Birthday on the back, so that's pretty neat, I guess, I don't know. Um, but the ocarina itself just fits right in there. Um, so here's the actual ocarina. It is an Alto C. It is an 8-hole transverse style, or sweet potato. Um, um, so all of the ho finger holes are numbered from 1 to 7, and then this uh, thumb hole here is just marked LT. Um, and, as you can see, the pink, left pinky hole and the right thumb hole are just filled in. It's just a ring where you can stick your fingers, which... I can see why they left out this left pinky hole, because it, it, I guess it could be confusing for, like, the notation and stuff to just skip this. But for this right thumb hole, they, they, I think they should have put that in there, because there's not really any reason not to, but... So, the ocarina itself is actually pretty small, um, considering its pitch, because, well... Here's my uh, focal link Alto C, and as you can see, the first note is um, a bit smaller. And uh, here is a focal link uh, soprano plastic ocarina, and it's not that much smaller than the first note is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the quality of the ocarina itself is, well, what probably what you'd expect for one dollar. It's pretty terrible quality. Like, this plastic is just a very cheap, light plastic. Um, there's a lot, they're like, in, in this one, in the mouthpiece, there's just this hole right here where when you blow in, air can escape, so. And these pieces aren't lined in very well, and as you can see here, this is like, not even put together all the way, so there, there could be some air escaping out of there, I'm not sure, but. And the ergonomics, the, all of the holes on the right hand are pretty cramped together, and all the ones on the left hand are fairly spaced apart. Um, not that bad, but it's not that great. Um, so, yeah, those are pretty cramped. Uh, and the, the holes themselves aren't very clean either. Not that that matters too much, but... And as you can see, the airway is just a very simple... just kind of sharp point there. Um, now, as for the actual sound of this ocarina... It's, well, I guess first I should talk about the quality control, because this ocarina, this red one, sounds a lot better than this blue one does. Just because this blue one is, like, off-pitch, especially for um, these left-hand notes right here. That would be the, uh, the A, the B, and the C. Um, but this one is definitely more in pitch, but it's a very, it has a very fuzzy... Um, just kind of like fuzzy, airy sound to it. It doesn't really sound very nice. There's not really any resonance to it, and, uh, and, I don't know, when you use it, it kind of just feels cheap, which would make sense, being that it is a, a cheap plastic, but, um, but yeah, this one definitely sounds better than this one does. This one's kind of, or this one's kind of out of tune. Um, and, uh, I, I, I'll show you this one. This one is a bit nicer than the other one is. There's no um, 
leaking. There's no air leaking anywhere. Um, but also you also you can see in the mouthpiece this is kind of just a little like I don't know, it just doesn't look very nice, like there was some issue here and they just kind of melted, I don't know. Um, but also, you can see that the actual hole in the mouthpiece is kind of far back, so when you play it, you have a lot of this plastic right here that's just kind of in the way, and you gotta hold it a bit more like this, which is not too big of an issue, but it can be kind of annoying. And, um, it says Ultasi Ocarina on it. So, um, the price of these things is one dollar. It was previously five dollars, four or five dollars, when... Uh, we got this one, but it has since gone down to one dollar, and the packaging has actually changed, so I don't know what it looks like anymore, but I know it is different. Um, so, I mean, really, for one dollar, I guess you can't go wrong with this. It's not really an ocarina that I would recommend for learning the ocarina, because it's... You have to blow, like, really hard to use it for there to be any kind of real sound coming out of it. And, um... It's, this one especially is just out of tune, and it's not very comfortable, and you are missing, because most um, ocarinas ha do have 12 holes, and this only has 8, which is not really a problem, but there is that to consider as well. Um, but for $1, it's kind of just fun to have, I guess, because, I mean, it is an ocarina, and it is playable, um, and... I guess I would recommend it for one dollar, but if you are interested in learning the ocarina, I would much recommend getting... I would recommend getting a actual ceramic, or yeah, ceramic ocarina like this one. But if you um, want to get a plastic ocarina, then I would recommend this, this Soprano C1 by Focalink. And there's also the Focalink Alto, Alto C plastic one. You can get that from, from Songer, Songbird or from Focalink themselves. And there's also the plastic um, Night by Noble Alto C that I've heard a lot of really good things about. So, um, that if you want to get a plastic ocarina, I would probably recommend Night by Noble. Not from experience, but just from what I've heard. From experience, I would recommend this one because that's the only experience I've actually had. But, um, but yeah, this is more like just something to round out your collection or to play around with or to burn. I don't really know, but. Yeah, so now I'm going to give you some sound samples, um, mostly with this one, but I'll, I'll give you some sound samples with this one as well, so, yeah. So now I'm going to do some sound samples, uh, first with the red one, and then with the blue one. Um, first I'm just going to play a simple scale for you. definitely see that this one is a lot out of tune, way out of tune I should say, and that the red one definitely does sound better. Um, so now I'm going to play some stuff, I'm just going to play some stuff I guess. Um, so it doesn't sound so great, but... And I'm gonna play some stuff with this one. So, it's not gonna sound very good, but... Cut this 
I messed that up too, but you get the idea. You know how it sounds now, so... Would I recommend these? Not for beginner ocarina, ocarinas, but for fun, yeah, I would recommend these. I would say buy them for a dollar. Or even four dollars, I guess they'd be worth it too. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. Yeah.